Pug made it all the way up here. We're literally on like the side of a mountain. Like, kid you not, the cliffs right there, everything. Crazy, crazy stuff. Got anything to say, Bean? Because I guess, in part for my training for the Spartan Race. How many of you guys that watch me are like OG followers? And what I mean by OG followers is like the OGs of the OGs. Not at like 1K subs, not 2K, not 3K, not 4K, not even like 10K. So back in like the day when I first started YouTube, I would always go on hikes. I was obsessed with them when I first started. Something I missed doing, I just got back into it. Probably one of the funnest hikes I've been on. Honestly, I didn't get back into it just because I have a Spartan race coming up. I know it's gonna be good conditioning for it and like the kind of path that we're going on is super good. And I know this pug is, this pug is a beast, bro. And pff, dude, no one's got anything on being like think about it people even people struggle to do this and she's just she's got it done and so far it's been so good it's called uh guy point it's g-u-y-e point it was sick like the view was insane got mount rainier in there and everything believe it or not one of the best things that i love about hikes is that they're painful and i don't know how many of you guys know this or not but your brain registers pain the same way whether it's you know your girlfriend breaks up with you your boyfriend breaks up with you right as it would this hike. So when it's super painful, you feel like quitting, it's just beating you up mentally. Um, it literally transfers the same way. Maybe not the exact same way, but it's relatively the same. So whenever you do like a hike or something that's physically challenging, it helps you push through those other times in life that are relatively challenging. You good? What, you hit something? Ability to get motivated on their own. It's a very, very powerful system. I would have said no, um, but my colleague Anna Lemke. She's been on the show. Yeah, oh, great. fantastic. Right, all right, all right. Man, I am somewhat exhausted today. Yesterday I did my first run training for this half marathon, and yeah, it's knocked me on my ass yesterday and today. Just like completely. <clears throat> mm. So we got a workout today. Um, I'm regimenting my workout a little different now. Like now I have specific days for what workouts. Just because it makes it easier for like planning runs and everything. Because I have like a long run day. I don't and whatnot. But yeah, so we got back in chest today. My favorite day of the week. Kidding. Like I have like the most insane pump this day. Um, but yeah, let's get in there before I just decide to sit in here and procrastinate because I'm tired. Because I'm done. like right now I'm way more softer than I usually am but it's weird I think running yesterday and also just drinking a lot of water helped flush a lot of sodium out because like two days before this I was looking way more puffy but I mean it's still pretty puffy I can't tell if it's just the lighting I'll have to look back at the video to see I'm trying to look right now I can't even tell but yeah 
One thing I've been doing lately is working on my posing, especially if I'm gonna compete again. One thing I could have done with the front double bicep is I was coming out way too far. What I could have done is came in. I, like that looks so much better to me. Like the taper instead of all the way out here. what it is though. I mean, we can't really change anything now other than, well, I mean, we could change it for the next time, but, whew. It's around 12.30 right now, and we just weighed in at 77.2 kilograms. We weighed that the other morning, like I said in the gym, it seems as if I've lost a little bit of water weight and some other stuff, but some of it's obviously still sticking around. Either way, that's still like an eight to 10 pound increase, which is actually, quite a lot and you know this kind of brings me back to a time when i experienced body dysmorphia and i experienced some other things along with like my body composition and i briefly kind of wanted to talk to you guys about that because i feel like that's something that people don't really mention i kind of feel like as a content creator there's some things that i've realized about body dysmorphia and the way that i look that I just feel like I need to share. I was just on my way downstairs and anytime that I talk to you guys about like something fitness related, I usually do it in the garage in the gym. Um, but something I wanted to show you guys really quick because this is kind of a semi exciting announcement if you're super into supplements and whatnot. But Transparent Labs just released this and they're also releasing reds by the time you see this video. So those are my two favorite items that they're releasing this month, which is actually really exciting. They're just making big moves lately and this protein powder if you didn't catch the flavor is meal chocolate chip cookie and the exciting thing about it i should say is probably that it's their best tasting protein 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 powder that they've ever come out with by far i haven't tried the reds yet there's a couple other new items that they came out with like a new stim free and they also came out with a lean product for me i just didn't want any stimulants right now so i was just like hey I'm not interested in those right now. I want the reds and I also want the whey protein powder because as you guys have seen in my modified carnivore diet, I am currently having two scoops of whey protein and the reds are okay to have because it's a fruit. Well, it's not actually like a fruit, you know, it's like, uh, you know, you, you get what I'm trying to say. <sighs> Man, all right, what are we, what are we gonna be talking about, about body dysmorphia? Well. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience because I know some of you guys are probably new here and maybe some of you guys have been here for a little while but don't know anything about this. So I have actually dealt with uh, body dysmorphia to some extent, not like to the point where I'm freaking out anxious about everything, but here's how it kind of looked. So I was you know, looking at people on social media first. This is how I got into it because I just wanted abs more than anything and this is back in 2019, three years ago, pretty much exactly from now. and. I literally remember I kept looking at people and going, I'll do whatever it takes to just look like that. Like I didn't realize, you know, cause now I'm in it is, you know, when you are taking a photo, you're flexing, you're looking honestly your best for a picture. And so I thought that these guys just had like resting abs, even though they were probably flexing their abs in a photo. And so, like I said, I went to like a very unhealthy extreme. I was only eating 1500 calories a day because I heard of a calorie deficit. I didn't really know how to calculate like my average calories to get a better deficit because that was way too far of a deficit. Um, I was running every single day just because I liked running. Um, I could have done the treadmill, but I just preferred running. Um, and then I was also working out every single day. And I did that 120 days straight before I just honestly got burnt out. And you know, I was super lean, but I was also the lightest I had ever been. Um, I think I was around like 145 pounds. It was just like extremely unhealthy. And my stage weight, by the way, was like 160 pounds. So that just goes to show you like how extreme I went. It was really bad. Um, it was like almost as if I was anorexic, but I wasn't. Get back to how this story relates to what's even like going on right now, I guess with me and myself and things I've just realized with like social media and whatnot is that I'm really gonna be lighter on myself. And I think a lot of people on the internet need to be a little lighter on themselves as well because after my show I'm not gonna lie like it was super hard to see you know I had been up you know eight to ten pounds like you guys just saw I just weighed myself because obviously as soon as you gain eight to ten pounds you're gonna see that all over your body and I saw it in my stomach and just seeing like my abs gone seeing that you know I wasn't as defined I didn't have as much vascularity you know just seeing that was kind of almost depressing in a way because I would say like the whole time that you're getting ready for a show, seeing yourself get lean or whatnot, you're getting a dopamine hit off of it because you're like, oh, like I'm, I'm you know, increasing, you know, the way my body looks. I'm like getting that much closer to looking like a Greek God. And so then when you do damage that, it's like, oh, 
you know what I mean? And there's this thing called post-show depression. I didn't look too much into it, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do along the lines of, you know, you look your best and then all of a sudden you're like, dang. And, but you know, I've realized that that body composition can't be held for, you know, year long round, uh, that made no sense. It can't be like held for that long is what I mean. And you know, I think a lot of the times, a lot of people will see others on social media and they go to an extreme of you know trying to look a certain way and there's a lot of people with eating disorders out there because of you know the way other people look and whatnot and so i guess just my message to you guys because i mean this is also a message to me is just take it easy on yourself now i'm not saying don't be disciplined don't try to get the body that you want what i'm trying to say is you know if you are going to an extreme to i would say look a certain way and it's causing you anxiety it's causing you mental health issues then you need to take a back, step back and you know examine exactly what's going on what's making you feel that way be a little self-aware with everything because i had to do that after my show and just seeing how i was able to handle it compared to like how i handled it in the past whenever you know i would gain weight uh, when i was trying to get abs and stuff uh you know it's just way better i'm way better at handling it so i guess like I hope you guys take this as a better interpretation. Just know also that these people on social media are looking their best just for a photo. Yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Not much for a vlog, but it was something. Hope you guys liked today's video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys know I will be back. And always, die trying to do what you love. The sky's the limit. I'll see you guys in the next one.